Good morning, Jeff. I wanted to give you a perspective and a bird's eye look at this property. So when you come in the front door, you are immediately uh, to the left is a dining room. So it is carpeted. That is mauve. It is in nice shape. Obviously in the 1990s, they were still doing a lot of things with uh, mirrors everywhere. So that part has not been updated, but overall, this is a pretty decent house. Again, mauve carpet, uh, fireplace, looks out onto a pond, looks out over the pool, got multiple entry points. And so you can see that, uh, you know, they have wallpaper and uh, high ceilings. Nothing looks damaged as far as when they indicated the uh, roof. You can see maybe up in that right-hand corner, what I'm looking at right now, you can see they've had some water damage. I'm sure that's where they spoke in regards to seeing uh, a section that uh, was uh, wet from a roof. There is a hairline crack right there. That can be common just from settling issues. Uh, this was uh, in its heyday, an incredibly beautiful house. And so washer dryer, I'll just give you a picture. Not everybody is interested in the garage, but this is a three car garage and uh, definitely shows very, very big. So then let me walk you into the secondary bedrooms, kitchen areas right here. Again, you know, uh, it could certainly use updating, but it certainly is uh, something that is in nice shape just the way it is. So building bookshelves, uh, you know, again, mauve carpet. It's the same carpet that they have everywhere. Uh, this was kind of a, the way they did it back in the 90s, at least in Gateway. You can see uh, shower tub combo and then a little door to the outside. I don't know if that was just an exit strategy or what, but again, you could have a little seating area out there. Everything's sweating. It's real humid outside and pretty cool in this house. So uh, again, secondary bedroom, you can tell that uh, that glass, very cool. Doesn't look like there's any water damage necessarily that I see from uh, sections that you would say, boy, that has significant water damage. This does have its own shower tub, I'm sorry, shower bathroom associated with this bedroom. So that's the shower. You can kind of see once again, you're looking out at a pond. This isn't a cul-de-sac and the cul-de-sac does have uh, an area that is um, by the street then. So when you go back out of this area, uh, there is a street that is a little uh, higher traffic than you would just say uh, this subdivision. So again, just kind of give you an idea of the of this property. Again, I think it's pretty okay for that price point. So again, there's the other side of the of the uh, fireplace. Let me walk you into the master here real quick. Uh, they have to the right, big tub, garden tub, uh, to the uh, water closet. You can see once again, have a little outdoor space. I don't know exactly why they did that, but nonetheless, and this uh, is, is plenty big, built in everywhere. So that kind of gives you an idea of the space that they have for clothes because the master bedroom is not monster big but it certainly is big enough for, you know, king size bed and everything that you would want in here. It could use some elbow grease and some beautification, but my golly, overall, it's not bad. These pavers out here are, are in great shape. They look as good as it looks and under truss uh, sections of, of a house are what everybody loves because it gives you great outdoor space. And when you're out here, I mean, you can be in a rainstorm and just enjoying the, the space uh, outside, just phenomenal. So they have a little uh, section for a kitchen out here. Again, I'll give you an idea of the pond. 
it's it's i mean just a, a beautiful view i mean there's nothing disappointing about this outdoor space so new roof new ac uh new uh things that i think make it uh, at this price point probably attractive you can see that's uh, got a little gated section there probably they had pets and that was just an easy place to allow a dog out and so my hunch is guys this will probably sell above asking price uh, i don't know in this market if it would be a lot but uh it, it definitely is is not in bad shape i'm looking at the ceilings looking for water damage or some other issues obviously it could use you know those things but you know what you could live with it if you chose to do that you would be in a real nice community with a decent property and little by little just say you know what we can make this work um and uh and take down wallpaper as you choose if you don't like that, but uh, overall, this is a lot of house for the money. So have a, a very good day. Thank you.